You see, this is what is the what we are printing is in 25 mm and all. Okay. See, there are not any wastages and all. Hmm. Actually, we are just printing it here, mm -hmm. and so it will take a turn, hmm. go that side, and you see we have put reinforcement here. Right. Hardly you see any wastage. Right. Side. Hmm. Okay. So that is sustainable. Plus, this is also about a lot of fly ash in this. Okay. So we use cement. We use fly ash. Hmm. So because and also we use some fibers and all, so you know, it doesn't crack. This is not mortar. This is concrete. This entire thing is concrete. Yeah, this is concrete. Okay. It's not uh, cement mortar. Ah. All others do with cement mortar, but ours is concrete. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of In the Spotlight. Today, I'm in Bangalore to witness firsthand the use of 3D printing technology implemented by Larsen and Tubro for a very prominent builder in the city. This technology is sustainable. To know more about it, I'm going to be interacting with MB Satish, who's the Ecom member of LNT and a former LNT board member. Come with me to know more about 3D printing technology. Pleasure to have you as a guest. Hi, 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 guys. Good morning. Yes. So, um, MBS, tell us about the 3D printing technology that you are using in this villa. Yeah. Okay. So we started uh, using this 3D sometime in uh, April 2019. Uh, we had been to the you know Boma, then we decided to buy one of these equipments. This is called Cobar uh, for our 3D printing. And then we did an experiment with uh, you know without using reinforcement for a 300 square feet building in Kanchipuram. Uh, we did that building where we could not use reinforcement. We saw how the concrete is coming. Where everybody else uses mortar, but whereas we are using concrete in 3D printing, I think that is the difference between us and the other 3D printers and all. So we did it. It was successful. Then we decided because nobody else has done reinforcement. So then we decided to put reinforcement into this. Then we had COVID in you know in the month of January, March 20 and all. So by December 20 we were able to do a another building, 700 square feet, ground plus one, where we did 3D printing with reinforcement. And we were quite confident. Then we brought, uh, you know, there were no codes or nothing like that. Then we informed IIT Madras who were helping us with this. Then we also brought it to BMTPC. It's an organization which actually approves some of these new technologies and all. So they gave the approval for the technology. We got the approval actually sometime in December 22 for this material to be used. Then we did our own, you know, the mock-up flat in Chennai. Uh, using this technology for the mock up flight, the 3D printing, only for the walls and all. Then we also did actually this ancillary buildings in Cheya, where we did, you know, the main gate buildings, uh, you know, the other administrative buildings and all, almost close to 10,000 square feet we did in Cheya, actually. Then we also showed this technology to one of the leading developers in when we were doing it in uh, Chennai. So then he was very keen. Then we said, we'll actually deploy this for his villas projects in Bangalore. So that's why we are we are actually 3D printing six uh, villas. Yeah. LNT is the only company which is using 3D printing technology in India? Yeah, the 3D printing in situ, the way we are doing, we are the only person in India who is doing. And we are the only company we have done, including this uh, villas, totally about, uh, done close to about 1 lakh square feet of 100,000 square feet hmm. of, you know, villa printing. Okay. Nobody else has done this. So, what's the advantage of 3D printing? The advantage of 3D printing is that, you know, you don't need any form work here. Mm -hmm. The 3D printing actually, play, you know, in about it, in layers, mm -hmm. it uh, prints the concrete. Okay. So, you don't need any form work. Mm -hmm. You don't need any skilled people. You see, you could have, you see in here, mm -hmm. there are hardly any people there. Mm -hmm. Only about some technicians, six, mm -hmm. seven technicians only are there. With them, we are able to do the job. Mm -hmm. Whereas, any other job, you know, there would have been scaffolds here, we could have seen people working and all. So, it, it, almost about 50% of the manpower is reduced here. And 3D printing gives an architect a lot of freedom to express himself. You can do it in any shape, any shape, any curves, anything he wants. That's the thing we do. Plus, once you have the drawing in BIM, mm. we fill it to the computer, mm. it just does it on its own. As anything. A lot of emphasis on technology in LNG. Yeah, everything. This... Uh, LNT is all about technology. So, uh, we say actually this construction is 
nothing but technology is it as strong as regular villa is yeah it? absolutely it's much more stronger actually the concrete we are putting is around m30 okay but the real concrete when we are putting is about m50 it is very strong the absolutely no problem in 3d printing we print the walls mm. actually what we are doing for the horizontal ones we press slabs mm. which are actually precast mm. one of the things that in 3d printing is you must have all the services in place like you know where to take your plumbing lines where you would uh, you know the uh, switches will come where you will put you know all those things should be ready because we feed it to the thing see like if you see in the toilet actually there will be notches there you know mm. there will be groove there for the us to take the pipelines yes. so all the details must be available before we start the 3d printing so this is this is high tech in compared to regular construction absolutely Now, and where do you get your talent trained see wh- what we are doing is we have trained these people you know like when we did the mock up you know and other things and all we have trained our technicians mm. but what we are thinking is once we get enough you uh, know enough, enough projects and all we will do a small training program for these people mm. to do training you know in our kanchipuram yard for the 3d printing no? and which are the other projects that we have done in using this technology see uh, as i said uh, you know we started with kanchipuram and the ground floor then we did the kanchipuram ground plus one mm. then our own mock up flat in chennai mm. the administrative uh, buildings in chair mm. then mm. we have done one more building for the border road organization mm-hmm. which is actually the largest 3d printer mm-hmm. it is ground plus two mm. it is 50000 square feet mm. whole thing is uh, 3d printed okay. using cobalt Uh, and it is the largest 3d printed i think they say in the world it's excellent okay in one place i'm saying in one in place. one place so why are you in particular using this technology in this villa complex you know ideally if i had not done 3d printed you would have been doing block work you would have been doing plastering all that and all. i'm doing everything with 3d printing yeah so it is so fast and noiseless also because i yeah. i mean there's hardly any noise actually you know all these apartments are there they are so happy they are even happy you have only one small you know batch plant which is running yeah. and everything is 3d printed no sound whatsoever hmm. i think that's what it is it's going to change the way we work which are the other countries where 3d printing is so you it's know. being done in actually uh, in the countries like us and all they hmm. are doing us they are doing something was also done in russia about okay. you know 3d printing people are all doing i think i also read recently that you know some villas they are going to do some 1000 villas in uh, hmm. uh, us uh, by 3d printing and all I also got a lot of offers from many private guys and all, but we want to be very choosy. Mm. And uh, you know, before doing this uh, villa 3D printed, mm. we did a mock up, mm. completely tested it. Mm. You know, we simulated rains and all, made sure that uh, there are no leakages and things like that. So mm. all the things were time tested, you know, because you don't want to bother somebody to have lots of leakages in their house and all. So sure. that's also we did. I, I saw a lot of, you know. young talent boys and girls both yeah. in this so you you have yes how do you make engineering interesting for youngsters today and they, actually we tell them that construction is nothing but technology mm. see just to say you know we start actually our survey work we need geospatial you know devices mm. to you know just do all the survey mm. you know okay, like we also fly drones to do it then we do the design and all is also done through cad we, we use so many other software to do the designing then we have thing called you know bim mm. where we put all our clashes and all then we study mm. then we have iot mm. like all our planted machinery can talk to each other i know how much a batching plant is producing everything and so like this everything is digital now everything is digital it's it's not just construction the way you see this is the future mm. and i think uh, the youngster should also know this is an opportunity that we are going to build a sustainable uh, india uh, and you know i have recently come from our uh, unit in hazira mm. where actually we are doing welding everything is done remote control mm. and only one operator earlier it was being done by three operators mm. now one operator is doing what so many welders are doing all remote control mm. we are sitting in an ac cabin so everything is digital and you know in we in india are going to build so many things it's going to be green it's going to be hydrogen power and all we also have a small plant in hazira for hydrogen right i think these are all real real interesting times where we have an opportunity to build a new india mm. probably a new world uh, we also committed by 2040 that will be uh, you know carbon neutral and also it is very important and these are the opportunities that we have great so so do you think this technology yeah if uh, you know find will find its place in mass housing in case 
you know, in case of government projects or private projects, do you think yeah. there's a scope there? See, there are three technologies which you'll have there. You know, like we have, you know, if you want real mass, you can do the precast. You can do uh, precast. The real precast, and it can also be three D precast. We also have the aluminium form. Mm. Then we have the three D printing. Mm. So depending on the use, like I told you, ground plus two, maybe tomorrow ground plus five, ground plus seven, we can use three D printing. Mm. But real mass housing and all, we can also go for precast aluminium. We're also coming with a new technology called PPVC. It is called precast prefab, pre finished volumetric construction. Uh, we actually got a portal to be built with this using this technology. This technology is there worldwide already, where you know each room, let's say a hotel, and each room is completely finished. And then we just erect it. I think this technology, first time, I think in Ayodhya we have started. I okay. think UP has taken the leap in this. So I think this this is also one technology probably to be used for buildings like affordable housing. You can do this. You can also do this for the hotels and many, many other things it can be used. But even apartments, each one, it can be 300 square feet and you can just insert it. Completely prefinished. See, because we have a problem with workers. You know, we are not able to some attract workers. I think workers also should feel that what we are doing now is all technology. It's not a, 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 we're doing the work the regular way. In LNT, we always do things differently. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You've been in this, in the construction business for how long? Me? About three decades? Oh, uh, yeah, more than decades. I've been there for four decades. You have, in these three to four decades, reached the highest ladder in LNT. Okay, the highest level in LNT. Um, what is this, that couple of advice or some words of you know uh, advice for the youngsters yes. of today oh, yes. who want, who've got into civil engineering and would want to pursue a career in civil engineering? Yeah. I think first I would say that you know don't have any fear, mm. be fearless. Mm. Then I will say embrace technology. Mm. I think that technology is something that you know that is the only thing which is constant. Then they got to be innovative. They have to be creative. They have got to be innovative. And I think they have to also nurture a team. That is what is uh, very important. And uh, I also tell all my GTs and all that they should develop their net network. network. And I said network is nothing but network. Today, if you see SNS, I think that his biggest strength is network. Mm -hmm. The people with whom you are working. Mm -hmm. Also, you should know something about your finance and all. And, and you should think of sustainable things because, you know, already, the, you know, see, today Bangalore is still very, very hot mm. compared to what it was. Mm. So I think we need to do sustainable buildings, sustainable mm. roads, and the power, sustainable power. Mm. I think these are the things that they have to do. They have to do things differently. And in LNT, LNT are everywhere. There's a huge opportunity, today, as I told you, to redefine the way that we see buildings and all. As our forefathers did so much. Now we need to give to the next generation something entirely different. So let's, why don't we go inside yes, this go. Plant, yeah. okay, and, you know, kind of see. That's yes. it. So explain, explain to me what is sustainable here, because you were, you were mentioning about sustainable construction. You see, this is uh, what is the what we are printing is in 25 mm and all. Okay. See, there are not any wastages and all. Hmm. Actually, we are just printing it here. Mm -hmm. And so it will take a turn, hmm. go that side. And you see, we have put reinforcement here. Right. Hardly you see any wastage right. inside. Hmm. Okay. So that is sustainable. Plus, this is also got a lot of fly ash in this. Okay. So we use cement, we use fly ash. Hmm. So because, and also, we use some fibers and all. So, you know, it doesn't crack. This is not mortar, this is concrete. This entire thing is concrete. Yeah, this is concrete. Okay. It's not uh, cement mortar. Ah. All others do with cement mortar, but ours is concrete. So that makes it stronger. Stronger. It's sustainable, less wastage. Less sustainable. No noise. No noise, no workers. Okay. Less number yeah, of workers. Yeah. Hardly any workers. Okay. All computer controlled. Okay. He's the man who controls everything. That's okay. all. Okay. He's the man. Okay. Interesting. He's controlling it. He's controlling it. That's it. Wow. Thank you so much, MBS. Yeah, yeah, my pleasure, pleasure my pleasure. Pleasure to meet you and also to see um, technology in construction that is sustainable, noiseless, yeah. um, you know, less wastage. Future of construction. Future of construction. Yes. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.